Hello, welcome. Today I want to introduce Zyxel's new developed VPN firewall with Wi-Fi 6E. It's configured by the Nebula app and the Nebula control center. Welcome to the Zyxel support campus. To connect small businesses, home offices and hospitality is not so easy using a VPN firewall as you need an administrator and a good overview of your IP addresses. But using the Zyxel SCR50AXE makes it very easy to connect single subsidiaries using the Nebula Control Center. But before we start into the details, let's see what is inside the box. The SCR50E comes with an eco-friendly box that consists mainly out of cardboard. It contains a LAN cable, the magnetic stand, an EU plug face, UK and US plug face and the power supply. Also the device in a rounded housing with a stylish red corner. Also you find the FCC declaration and the quick start guide that can be downloaded from the internet page in the actual version. Get started with the device and put it on the magnetic stand that snaps automatically to the device. If you want to mount it on the wall, there is a wall mount under the cover. We click the fitting plug face into the power supply until it snaps in. On the back side of the device you find the connection for the power supply, a one uplink port and four LAN gigabit ports as well as a reset button and a WPS button. Connect your internet access device to the blue one port and the power supply to the power supply port, of course. Then we are ready to start. You can control the SCR50AXE with the Nebula app and also the Nebula control center. I can show you how this works in a few steps. Download the Nebula app from the Google Play Store or the Apple Store. Then open the cover on the back side of the device and you can find the details and the QR codes to install the device. The holes are for wall mounting. Create an organization and a site, then you scan the QR code on the bottom of the device, register the device to your account and you can start the trial services of the Nebula Pro Pack. Then you have the firmware upgrade option. Then the system shows you how to set up the device, which we did in the steps before. And as soon as the device has been booted, you can see the LED status also in an extra page. After that, the device runs a firmware update and you should allow to do that so that it's on the latest version. During the setup, you see the latest installation video of the device. Then you can change the Wi-Fi setup and also share this with the QR code to other clients. Then with step 12, the setup is complete. In case there is a specific setting on the WAN IP, like static or PPPoE, you can use the mobile connection of your phone to register the device and then change the WAN setup in the application. To establish the special setting of your interface, you need to connect your mobile phone with the wireless of the device. In the Nebula control center, it shows what is the reason for the disconnection of your device. Based on that, you can change the WAN interface from DHCP client to static IP using the mobile app. Find the different settings and the local web dashboard of your device. The connectivity shows where is the problem. Then you can change the WAN type interface from DHCP to static IP or PPPoE with any option that your service provider requires. Using that, it shows you that the system is going back online. Also, you can see the LED behavior, which helps you to find out the issue. Please note that the red marked signs are not in the mobile app's onboarding diagram. Now the SCR50 firewall is ready to protect your network. You can see the different filtering methods on the security router dashboard or in the web portal. 
So you can identify clients that might be compromised or you can also find applications that give your network a hard time. You can activate the SCR ProPack licenses to have more control on the intrusion of your network. The Special Security Router Treat Report shows you the intrusion to your network and also which clients and which applications did have the most security problems in the last time. Using the mobile app you can also check the treat events and then handle clients that causes this. In the Geofence item you can block websites coming from foreign countries with a high risk. If you have a question about the product, contact support.zyxel.eu. It's the unified website that can help you to set up your product correctly. You can find more than 700 help desk articles in different languages, as well as the contact to our support team. Also, you can put your questions in the comments. We are done with our episode. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, leave a thumbs up. And also subscribe to the channel so that you do not miss any of our new episodes. For our resellers, we offer the site partner.cycle.eu where you can find special offers. A visit is worth it. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. We're Zycel and we're your networking ally. If you are interested in more Zyxel videos, then subscribe to this channel and click the bell to get notified.